Lately, plastic has been making the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Like a villain plotting world domination, plastic seems to be everywhere, even in the most remote places on Earth. But it wasn't always this way. The English scientist Alexander Parks made the first plastic and immediately realised the potential of his new invention. Yes. At the time, elephants and turtles were being hunted for ivory and tortoiseshell, which were used to make a wide range of everyday objects. The ability of plastic to be moulded into any shape and then hardened made it a great alternative for everything from billiard balls and buttons to false teeth and piano keys. By replacing ivory and tortoise shell, plastic helped save elephants and sea turtles from being hunted to extinction. The early plastic came to be known as celluloid, and it paved the way for new technologies like film, although it had the unfortunate tendency to burst into flames. Ah! In 1909, the scientist Leo Bakerland accidentally created a new type of plastic called Bakelite, which, unlike celluloid, didn't go up in flames. It was soon used to make long-lasting parts in early cars and telephones. In the following decades, plastic appeared in new forms with new, amazing properties. During the Second World War, it was in demand for lightweight aeroplanes and parachutes. When the war ended, our superhero returned home and worked tirelessly to make life easier for everyone. Plastic became such a cheap and convenient alternative for many everyday objects that it was soon seen as disposable. When thrown away into nature, plastic's amazing powers had sinister consequences. In the 1970s, scientists began to recognise the damage caused by plastic pollution. As the evidence piled up, plastic superpowers gradually came to be seen as a curse. But when it comes down to it, plastic is neither good nor evil. What really matters is how we use it and deal with our waste. There isn't just one easy solution to this problem, and we all have a role to play. So the next chapter in the story of plastics is in our hands. <laughs>